Welcome back to Somewhere You're Not. Welcome back. Yeah, it's Billy and Crystal. We did try to be somewhere we're not today, but it didn't work out, so we're here again. <laughs> and it's Blair. Oh, Blair's course. always here. Hey, girl. So we're, this, we're here. Yeah, this week, um, it's going to be a little different. Um, if you want to recap, last week we had Nick on the show. Yep. He critiqued us, gave us an A, an A minus, which is decent, you know. He could have kept the minus to so. <laughs> <laughs> he could have kept it to himself. Yeah. Like, damn, Joe, just give us a hand, call it a day. Yeah, he was enjoying us. <laughs> well, it was great. Like, we had some great moments. Like, social media, y'all were acting well, especially to Crystal part of the video. Like, <laughs> what are y'all trying to say? <laughs> you know good scam like that? <laughs> also, when I talked about it, I didn't think it was going to be like such a. <laughs> Like a, a response. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, she, she just had something to say. Like, <laughs> just like a little side note that became the topic. <laughs> but it was like really fucking funny, though. Yeah. yeah, it was good. But yeah. We're grown. Yeah. So this this week, we're going to like try to stick to the grown, you know, t era. And we're going to talk about like goals and like healthy habits and like what we found was good for us. Like, everybody's yeah. goals is going to be different. Everybody, like, habits and how they got out like you know different things yeah. it's just gonna be different we all got different shit going on <laughs> yeah so basically this year we are taking a finance course and um one of the biggest things we kind of learned and like were the lecture was about the first class was about passing what you're learning on because this is something that we're not taught in school something that Parents don't really teach us about because they're embarrassed or whatever. Well, they don't know themselves. Yeah, they don't know themselves. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to have a couple of, like, more serious talks about, like, adulting and, like, figuring out finances once in a while. And mm -hmm. you are tuned in to that video today. Yeah. Um, so, basically, the first couple of things that we learned in this course uh, was learning how to track your money, yeah. um, having all your accounts together to see where your money is getting categorized. Um, it's good just to see those things and it's hard to realize what you're spending on when you're spending really like quick money. Like, oh, we buy a bottle here, $20. Oh, we went out to eat, $60. Oh, this and this and this. So then you could kind of visually see like, oh, you know, next time maybe I shouldn't do it because yeah. that kind of category was pretty high and I didn't think I was doing it that much. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because in the moment you, re you really think that you're saving because it's yeah. like only $20. But if you do it like every week, or like every, like every two a days yeah. or you know that shit really is and, um, yeah. yeah and you don't realize it because like at the time you're like oh $50 that's fine it's cool yeah. and then the next time it's like $60 and then you're like oh you know it's four of us it's, it adds up whatever you know yeah. and it kind of yeah it's crazy <laughs> but one app that I'm using is called Rocket Money um, you can pick how much you want to pay and the lowest is $4 a month. Uh, I recommend it only because it's easier and very clean on when you look at everything and you can add your credit cards to it. You could add your credit to it and help you like visually see everything. Um, I think you're using something else. Right? Yeah, I use Nerd Wallet, but it's almost kind of the same. I haven't used Rocket Money. I, I do plan on downloading it just to compare, but like, I think Nerd Wallet is kind of the same. Like, it's really clean, and like, I was playing with it yesterday, because don't get me wrong, y'all, we supposed to have this shit downloaded like two weeks ago. Yeah. I downloaded it, but I don't be in it. So like, when he was like, oh, you guys I get notifications. <laughs> they tell me, they were like, girl, you spent $900 more than you spent last year month and, but you know what i hate when they do that because why don't 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 judge me like that but i was like where did 900 dollars come from <laughs> i was like, you lying? like <laughs> i was like doing that i was like looking and like so uh um, our instructor he like looked at mine because i like pulled it up yeah in, in class in like class in front of out in front of everybody all he does he looks at it goes wow that's how much you spend on dining and drinks <laughs> I was like, no, I didn't categorize correctly yet. <laughs> Bitch, the next day I went in that home. It was more. <laughs> it was right. 
I was like, why do you react like that? And you know, like, he's a rich guy. So I was like, why? <laughs> he said, I don't even go outside. Well, it's because he got somebody to cook for him. Sorry. Yeah, period. <laughs> he got a chef and all. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, but the, what, so I'm glad you, that's what you got out of the class. Because really, I'm still kind of confused. I know he started this class so we can, like, gain more financial understanding. But, like, bitch, I, I don't have a credit card. So all this interest talk and all these rates and shit like that. Well, I mean, so interest is when you get a loan. Um, credit card, you can earn cash back, which is really good. And then it helps build your credit. Yeah. So that's one thing you have to, don't put together. So interest rate is more for a savings account for us to save higher amounts of money yeah. in one account. And because you have that money in there, it's called investing. So it's a high yield account. Um, so those are all three different things. And what he wants us to do um, is we all open a savings account. Um, minimally, we all had to automatically send 10% from every check into mm -hmm. that savings account. And you can you could touch that money and then pay yourself back. But the whole goal is to like look at it and try not to do it if yeah, you don't have you. to. Um, but he wants us to learn that like, you want to learn how to have the mindset to save. But you also don't want to be like... Penny pinching. A, a, yeah, penny pinching and like a you know, a grouch about it of like, oh, I can't use my money. I'm saving it for retirement. I'm doing yeah. this. I'm doing that. Like, no, you should be able to save and spend and have fun where you want and just learn that the bigger picture stuff you could do, but the smaller little, you know, things that you're spending on, maybe that's where you don't have to do it. So yeah. right now we're being really rigorous, rigorous. I don't, or, I don't even know what we're just trying to say. <laughs> we're being really like watching all of our money. Um, so everything that we're spending right now, because we just started our accounts, yeah. has to be very like penny pinch. But in the long game, after we're saving every month and it adds up all crazy, and you're just like, dang, how did I get all this money? Mm -hmm. Then you could kind of think of like, oh, I can have more fun. But right now, sometimes you have to be in that little section of like oh no, all this money needs to be saved so I can at least start somewhere and then have that goal and then achieve that goal. And then from there, you already have that mindset going. So whenever you are having fun, it's still, you know, like you know how to do it right. Yeah. yeah. And then I like how he like be phrasing things too. Like he'll say, so first off, he wants us to have like two savings accounts, like one that, uh, well, one not high yield. Oh, yeah. no, yeah. I think he just wants something separate, separate from what you usually a do. A fun like, account? Yeah. And then the savings, savings account. account. Yeah. yeah. So like that part, I'm really waiting for the fun mm -hmm. account. Like, cause that's when you, that's when, when he say he don't want us to be penny pinching. He wants us to save until we actually get a fun account started. So that yeah. way we could just use that money and just. You know, keep saving, which I can't wait till we get to that part. Like, <laughs> well, so <laughs> we're, we're we're kind of jumping from the fun. The fun is like maybe six to ninety days, six months to ninety days to a year yeah. of when we could actually like see something really good. Because right now we have to do a spreadsheet where we put all of our debts, student loans, credit cards, medical bills, tickets. Um, oh, like rent, expenses. And, yeah, all, put all of your expenses into a spreadsheet. So if you guys want to start anywhere, these are the three things to do and to take from this video. So make an expense report, um, everything that you have to spend and all the debt that you owe and make sure to put your credit score in there so you can visually see where it's at now. Yeah. Um, the second thing would be track your spending. So download Rocket Money or Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet. Um, so you could just categorize all of that and see visually where your money's going. And then third is to make yourself some goals. Yeah. Um, and that could be small goals of like 90 days. I just want to pay off 25% of my credit cards. Yeah. I want to pay 20% um, to, you know, whatever debt I have. And actually it's four things because you also want to start 10% of whatever check or money yeah. you're making for the month. Just Every check, yeah. put 10% away. Some small. Even if it's like, hey, I still need to use it, just have it automatic where you could still transfer it back right now, but just have it. So yeah. you can visually see that like, so like, you know, for me, I'm already at a number that I'm just like, dang, 
Like, how'd I get there? Yeah. And it's only been, what, three paychecks of 10% that went in there. And so I was like, oh, okay, okay. I can swear. Yeah. I can swear. Just watching yeah. the build is exciting. That's why yeah. I, I can't wait till we get to the fun yeah. part, the fun account. Because, like, you know what I could do with this money? Yeah, yeah. You know all the shit I just want to buy right now? Yeah. But to kind of give you guys or make you feel warm and great, you know, you could kind of hear what our goals are. So yeah. we could give you our 90 six month and one year goal um and you could go into detail when you're writing them for yourself and you want to but we're just going to kind of give you our main point of what we hope for well you could tell i don't be listening because bitch i only did 30 days one year and three years <laughs> when did all this 30 days. 60 day, 90 day shit come from yeah. yeah 30 days you can't really get anything goal <laughs> other than like, you want to do something that's, like, giving you enough time that you're not rushing or making yourself feel overwhelmed on, like, trying to get there. Yeah. Because, like, let's be for real. You're... What is your... Yeah, what is your... Not. Let's see. I'm <laughs> not judging, but what is your 30 days at? Okay. Hmm. My 30 days are achievable, too. So, it's to get my license. Okay, doable. Yeah. Have money saved for a car, fifteen hundred to start. Now that might be thirty a days. Day one. That's ninety days. I'll be having shit going on. Ninety I mean, days, girl. Yeah. Consistency with the podcast. That's the thirty day. Now, okay, that's bitch. well. First of all, we started consistent, so we never Wait, lost consistency. True, but I'm just you know just to maintain and like no, you know, yeah, I guess never. That's, like, see, that's a good goal. But you're already there, so it's not a 30-day goal. That's a goal of, like, I just want to keep maintaining it. Yeah. But, you know, technically, you already checked it off. But keep doing good. Keep good. Okay, so. So, technically, it's one goal. Right yeah. <laughs> so, I want to buy, the, buy a lash kit so I can start back lashing. And I just want you to know that you is going to be my model. So, be ready. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anything crazy. So, you guys yeah. might not even notice. Yeah. I just want, like, a simple classic. Yeah, you know, classic set. But with, like, wispy at the edge. So. You don't want no decals? We can't no decals in Okay. Well, maybe, like, for my birthday or something. But, like, nothing not normal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Maintaining my bills. In which I'm really good at right now. Like, I... I, I pay all my bills off today zero. Like at one point I will be paying them and then I have to pay the, the they'll be due again. Uh-huh. So it's like I was paying twice. But now like they're they're at zero, they sitting there like oh, I pay okay. them as they should be. Like every month I could pay them on time. Good. But at one point I guess I was behind. And then get started on a secure credit card, but my uh teacher told me that that shit's out the window. No, he did not wait. He said we cannot do any big financial things without him looking because he wants to make sure that your account, that you're getting that right credit card. So, like, for Philly, I will be a little, like, so. <laughs> I need help! Philly <laughs> is not in the trenches. And, like, she thinks she is. Compared to, like, the other students and I, like, a lot of us have bigger, bigger, like, things that we have to conquer. Yeah. And Philly is kind of just, like, jumping, like, oh, well, let me get this little credit card real quick and, like, you know, get it secured. But if he looks at her accounts and tells her, hey, pay this off real quick, wait for your credit card to go, uh, your credit your score. credit score to go up, he could probably get her a credit card that actually gets her a lot of cash back, a good um, payment rate. bag, a good yeah. interest rate, all of the above, rather than her just signing something up real quick now. Yeah. And it's like, well, hey, if you would have waited for 60 days, yeah. you would have got a credit score was not something you would have never thought about. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's why he wants to go through your account to make sure that you're just not signing up for the most minimal thing right yeah, away. Yeah, like on some quick shit, which I understand because yeah. that's what I she need. She moves too quick sometimes. That's what I need. That's why I love this class. This class is going to be very beneficial for me. Mm -hmm. So then my last one is to gain more followers for personal and business because... And that's like my third said, day, right? Yeah, that's my third day. And like she said, we've been consistent and like I'm pretty sure like y'all like to see us now. Y'all getting the grasp of like our vibe. So... I could just see it happening, and then for like individually too, like we some bomb ass people. Like, 
We like to dress up. We like to go places. We like to look cute. We like to take pictures. We like to do a lot of things. We like to travel. Like, it's just going to get better from here. And that's what I really want to do. I just really want to maintain my life and just grow and just evolve. This is the lowest we'll ever be. That's her fucking favorite phrase. <laughs> and I promise you, ever since I started using it, it was when I moved to Chicago four years ago. And that was the lowest I have ever been in the four years. And I keep going up from here, so like I'm gonna keep saying it. The foot is facts. It's facts. Okay. Yes. So, what you really did in 90 days? You know, I'm gonna really, start paying attention. Next <laughs> they get mad at me for sending my shit, and it's correct. No. She one of them bitches. Like, have y'all ever been in school and like you ain't do the homework at all? So you trying to like lay low? The teacher ain't really saying nothing about it yet, and then it's one fucking student like I got the homework right here, y'all. I'm trying to make this shit happen already. <laughs> like, I need to know what's the next step to make sure that I am not wasting time and True. wasting my time every week to go to this class. Like, no, uh, every week counts. Yeah, she's like, right. I'm not gonna just miss a class. I missed one class right now because my brother was in town. No, 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 Felipe, Felipe was in town. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we were lit by the time the class was going on. So yeah, they like, didn't want to see us come back. Yeah, like, we didn't really miss anything either. No. So, anyway. Because we, I feel like we're the most active students. Like, we talk, we, we share. Yeah, we like, share. Like, everybody else so, is closed off. a huge, huge thing that was said in this class that I've realized with a lot of people in my life. Um, and, like, you know, just hearing other people talk is that... Um, it's really hard for people to be open about their money and what they owe and how to grow. Yeah. So like a lot of people are very like, oh, I'm not going to tell them, but I'm going to spend all this money. And like, you know, I'm going to pay for everybody here and not have enough money for my bills tomorrow. But you don't want to talk and like bring it out of like, hey guys, like, what do you think I should do? Uh, or like, if you have like, you know how Philly talks to me about the credit card. I'm talking to her about like, hey, like, you know, like, I see where you're coming from and I get it. Like, let's do it. Yes, but then again, we talk about it so that we can make sure that she's on the right, like, track of like, hey, hold on. Maybe you might get something better. Yeah. Um, or like maybe the, the vendor or lender I'm trying to get from isn't a good one and you have somebody yeah. that you've been using. Like, it just be a bit experience wise. Yeah. And I feel like that's why he like, started I, this play. Yeah. Like, I don't experience. think it's. Uh, I've always been kind of open with my friends with money. Yeah. It's like I'm gonna tell you, like, hey, you know, my check this time, my check that time, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, but like, I will say, like, my parents and stuff, like, always been very quiet with money. Like, my friends, like, they will never really tell you, like, what's going on, what do they have to pay, like, what you know, what the vibe is. Um, and it's just like now you want to like tell people of, like. Hey, this is how you might know, like, learn something from somebody else that you would have never known mm -hmm. if you would have just spoke up about it. Mm -hmm. Of, like, don't be insecure if you owe, you know, like, I'll be real. Just my student debt is 40K. You know what I mean? And before, I was like, oh, my God, this is huge. Yeah. Like, all this stuff. And the more I'm growing, the more I'm hearing. And the more you people know, you meet. Like, like, my brother is half a mil in debt right now because he's so good with money yeah but that's good debt so yeah. like that's another thing too you have to learn what good debt and like how to take out loans to actually make it help you rather than make you feel like yeah. you're drowning yeah and like not taking out like what are like payday loans and oh stuff yeah like that. and the thing is so a, a thing that he wanted us to stress to other people to learn about is that like when you want to have these 10% savings because when something big happens to you, like, oh, you popped a tire or someone broke lost into your, your window, job. oh, your key got locked in, you lost your job, uh, you have to take in um, non-PTO days that you got less of your check. You don't want those little things to burden you so much that you get overwhelmed and stressed because mm -hmm. you can't afford it. Yeah. So these 10% now 
in the long run will help with those things. Um, so it's it's better just to be very, you know, have those people. You don't have to tell everybody about your money. You can still be private. Right, you you but have money. your people that you, like, that's why people go into network. Like, all the rich people, like, if you listen to them and the way that they are, yeah, they're all sitting down and talking to each other about money. Yeah. And, like, why do you think that is? It's because... They can learn from each other. It's like, networking. That's they what all they're understand, there for. Yeah, they all understand the same shit. They probably go through the same exact thing yeah, as you yeah. but so, you but you want to keep your mouth closed and not learn like it's resources yeah. out here like like she said good debt is out here and it's yeah. called good debt for a reason because that bad debt had you fucked up yeah like, exactly and that's what you should take and i'm gonna tell you guys my quick 90 yeah i'm dying to know i'm dying to know my 90 days. day to goals i'll tell you my one year goals and my three year goals i'm not gonna go into debt about each one um, I'm just going to give you guys like a vague of like what my main goals are because the detail might be a little too like it's our first time. We don't want to overwhelm anybody. <laughs> um, so my 90 day goal, which I'm already in progress to achieving okay. is have 50% of my original credit card debt paid off. Um, I can see you doing it. Yep. Uh, another 90 day goal was having my student loans come out. So it's $200 every, uh, the first of every month, which I signed up for. And I did February already. So, yep. And then, um, so my 10% actually got boosted a little bit more, um, to at least $600 a month. <laughs> <laughs> to save towards my car that I am trying to get by the end of the year. Um, so in February, no, in January it wasn't possible because I had a lot of different bills I needed to pay and get situated. Um, but Feb February we are saving 600 and next month I'm definitely actually saving more than 600 Period. Period. So that's how you do that. Yeah. Man. So, you know, and the, the good part about the saving the 600 is that even if I need to borrow it from myself, like, you know, some bill comes up that I forgot about or like whatever it is, um, it's possible. And I could always, when that check comes back, just give myself back that money. So it's always good to do more than 10% so that you have a little bit more of a leg room if you need your money. Um, and it makes you feel a little, little bit better to see that, which is what I learned. So I already had to borrow from myself and I paid myself back. Mm -hmm. So just, it happens. It's, you know, like, yeah. that's why it was paycheck to paycheck because, like, you, um... You don't think about it those in those ways of like tracking your spending, and so now I know where I could cut it, and now I know yeah, where sacrifice. yeah yeah sacrifice, sacrifice different little things, and it's fine. I can do it. Yeah. I was like, that's why they say go goes for six months, come back, and you ready for hot girl summer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Um, so those are my ninety day goals, which you know, which are great. My one year goal is to get a Lexus uh, convertible. I you missed one. Sorry. No, yeah, I didn't want oh, to go you into it. Okay. Yeah, it was the main yeah, one. You touched it a little bit, you know. Yeah, I, I touched it. Um, so the one-year goal is to get a Lexus convertible. I'm not going to tell you which one yet because I just want to see if my, my teacher kind of changes this around or, like, what it is. It's it's an older car, but it's also very luxurious. Nice, yeah. It's convertible. It's small. It's a collectible. Yeah, and it's really good over time. So it's always so a big thing I had to learn, and this is why it's a goal for me, is because I wanted something that was luxurious and brand new now. Like, that was the goal. But in the long run right now where I want to be and the things that I'm paying for and the luxuries that I want and the travel like the best thing for me to do is buy a used older luxury car maintain it and then maybe when I'm a little bit older of course you could get whatever you want yeah. but the the truth of the truth is I don't want high rates I don't want a high the monthly payment yeah. I don't want so all of those tied in together the best thing for me to do is save for a used car, make sure I have my minimum goal of how much I'm spending overall really lower. So that's why. So one year is the Lexus. Um, I'm going to start using my credit cards correctly where it's you use how much you can pay every single month. So it's going to be helping my credit score. And then... Um, 
Oh yeah, my savings account, I'm gonna have two months of rent saved that I don't even touch. So if anything ever happens, at least two months is in there. So that's my one year goal. My three year goal would be able to take a loan out with low interest rate um, to buy myself a condo here in Chicago. Oh, she goes fast! Yes, yes. I'm gonna buy a condo instead of renting. Um, I'm gonna try to find something and make sure that I have enough money in my accounts that where I take out this loan, it's still that I have enough money already close to the loan mm. amount that I'm taking out. Did he call it, um, he said he took out a loan that he knew he had in the bank. He already had the same amount. Yeah. So the thing is, like, now you have double the amount and you don't want to touch any of those things, but at least you have double and you, you he know more, he can pay it. Yeah, you can pay it completely, but you have a low interest rate, so it'll help you overall. Yeah. You know? And he said everything's negotiable. Yes. So learn how to negotiate, y'all. That's a thing. Yeah. Because we'll kind of go into the negotiating probably in another one because yeah. we don't want to overwhelm. I don't even know how to negotiate. I can, yeah, we'll kind of go into it. I With my job, I've had to learn to negotiate a lot. And sometimes it makes you feel very, like, stressed and, like, I don't want to be that person. You can't. You but that. when you get it, you're like, oh, bitch, it wasn't that hard. But, right. like, it takes an extra, like, uncomfortable moment. But when you say, like... It's good to be uncomfortable and like do things that you're not used to because that's how you grow. Yeah. So when always be that's uncomfortable. That's comfort zone. Yeah, get out of the comfort zone because then you're going to be stagnant with your life, your entire life. Yep. See, y'all going to learn something from this podcast. <laughs> Period. <laughs> well, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so it was uh, taking out the loan to buy myself a condo. Yep. Um, uh, we, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, another big one. I'm, t- I'm skipping through some just to let you guys know. Um, so another big one for the three-year goal is have multiple avenues of savings accounts and open accounts um, that I can visually see and pull from in different ways and kind of use uh, to be smarter with money and yeah. not be in the same place I am. Well, used to be. But uh, what she said, this is the lowest you will ever be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and kind of just like be able to like go to extravagant vacations where I'm luxurious, bitch. Yeah. I'm not going on a regular vacation. It's a nice resort. Yeah, like we're going on, like for. full excursions, full like you know Dubai feelings. Yeah. You know, like the good Turks and Caicos. You know, you know the whole thing. So in three years from now, all of that. I'm going to be, like, the next two years very, like, watching where my money is going. And then in three years, like, I'll be at such a good point that I can have a little bit of fun. I mean, overall, I won't lie to you. I'm, I'm still buying concert tickets this year. I'm still going to vacation. <laughs> but you have to learn. If I'm, if I'm going to do that, what am I not going to do for True. the next couple of you months? you got to sacrifice a couple exactly. of Exactly. So I'm already cutting some costs and so like all these accounts that I have. Like Molly gives me all of her accounts and I'm still paying for accounts. Cut them all out. I got some stuff too. I get some free stuff off. Yeah, the table, so I'm right? cutting Google, all, yeah, cutting cutting all these well. accounts. I'm trying not to like go and just be like, oh lunchtime, let's go spend seventy dollars to have yeah, a couple no. of drinks. We, no. we need to stick to meal prepper too because meal like prepping. this bitch she knows we'll go grocery shopping and I'm still trying to get DoorDash. Yeah, all the time. It's like can we just go and she's like, Oh, it's fine. And like I swear no, to God, never. I never see when she like other than like I see her TikToks. Yeah. I'm like, oh there's there's she there's her food. <laughs> I'm like, where was all the food that we just bought, you know? But we're going to be continuously doing it and, like, keeping up and trying to make sure it happens. Yeah. But those were my 91 year and three year. I don't know if you want to touch on your... I don't yeah. know which years you did. So I only did one year and three year. Okay. So I guess it's the same. So my one year is to have a car. And, like, it's really because I want to have my paperwork settled first. Because, like, I've I've been through that situation where I've had a car, but I didn't have, like, my license or insurance. And, like, I kept getting in trouble, kept paying, like, toll fees. Bitch, that shit add up. Especially when you, it sits in the toll for, like, more than one day. Like, I've been through that. And oh, yeah. I, I don't want to go there no more. Like, I'm, I'm grown. I, I want to be. I didn't do it. Yeah, that shit if was you know, bad. You know. Yeah, if you know, you know. So, I'm. I'm trying to be a grown woman about it. And then plus, like she said, like, I want to have something 
to where I, my savings is going to be stacked up to where I can pull off in the car that I want. But, like, That's it's true. not going to be, like, nothing fancy because, like, I know what I want. Yeah. In the long run, but like for right now, right? I like you gotta to be, be understanding of yeah. like, let's not set ourselves up for repo or anything. Yeah. You know, so, but I ain't gonna be in no hoop do though. So that's why it's a one year. I'm gonna start saving. Um. So I want to establish stable residual income. So this basically like any side hustle. So like painting, lashes, this podcast, like. I want to maintain everything so that way everything can hit. So that way I won't just be living paycheck to paycheck. Like, no, paycheck to paycheck. Because, like, you know, I have, like, multiple streams. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Like, like, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I want to uh, have plans for me and DJ. And then also getting him in a new school. I just got, like, more oh. insights on a school that has, like, after school and yeah. it's later. So that way I can, like, work my regular schedule without having to have any compromise going on. Mm -hmm. um, uh, learn discipline with spending. This is my biggest. And this is one year? Yeah. This is my biggest problem because, like, I think that I can. Because I, I got the money in my account right now. I think I can pay for it. But the whole time, in my head, I know I'm supposed to pay this next week and I forgot about it yeah. like that's my thing like I'll be forgetting some shit because like I'm so like oh man these shoes are like on sale and I can I can pay for it right now yeah, like, yeah I have the money bad we getting them we getting them okay cool savings I want to have more than 5,000 in my account minimum like minimum because like like Crystal said you never know like I, I at least want to make sure I can pay my goddamn bills shit uh, <laughs> um I want a strict gym routine because I started one, but and don't get me wrong, the gym is great. Like once you locked in, you locked in, you feel better. You could go every. I was going every day, but like I, I done slipped up and ain't went since. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna get her back there. Yeah. I keep trying to bring her back to my gym. Yeah, and I love her gym. Like the, in my third year, trust me, when uh when I get my incentive. After three years this year. Go, I'm going into my second year. But next year, I'll be in my third year. In my Wait, no, in June, fun. you you hit your three years. No, that'll be my second year. Oh. That'll be my full second year going into... Wait, so going into my third year? Yes, that's sir. You completed your second year. With, this is your second year. So they, our job has an incentive. They'll pay half of my gym membership. So she I'm getting inside, inside, y'all. I'm in there. I'm fucking in there. <laughs> um, and then I want to write a book. I told you about that. I don't know if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to be about me or just like make a fake character. But like I've been through some stuff and I got I'm gonna talk about me y'all. So, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just end it right there because the last one is gonna get her started. I talked about my insurance policy, <laughs> like a life insurance policy. This bitch told everybody in my office that I was trying to kill I was myself. I trying to get her to learn something. Yeah, she was like, this bitch must be trying to kill herself because why are you trying to get a life insurance policy? She just policy? wants to pay some company to feel secure when you could be that security already. Yeah. You know. I mean, but like, in my family, because they ain't going to lie, I've seen it help. Like, all of my family members had like life insurance policies and when they died, like, we didn't have like no problem burying them. Or like... Or like when my grandma and dad, like her kids were straight. Yeah, like but they had technically, money if you had that money and you had your will put together and your savings, it'd be it's the same paid. thing. I just want, I think, I just want DJ to be cool. I want my love to be cool. Like, bitch, about that right now, I'll give you a few thousand dollars. I mean, I'll take care of it. Cause I know, I know you'll watch this. She got DJ. Mm -hmm. she she got, I'm in her will, bitch. I'll give her a few thousand. <laughs> But uh, that's what I'm saying. I want to start now so my thousands can be greater. But you're trying to have a hundred million in my just account. Just open another account. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the companies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys took a lot out of that. Our last couple of ten minutes here, yeah. we're going to give each other some challenges, and we're gonna see. We're gonna touch base every video. But it's going to take us 30 days and see which ones we completed and which ones we couldn't. Yeah. And we have to be very truthful, no lying, because if you lie, bitch, you just fucking yourself <laughs> over. And since we're going in a little bit of twist, we're going to take our little shot here. It's time for a short. A short. This is our vibe check. Yeah. This we're going to start doing vibe checks. Okay. Ooh, these, she made these huge. 
It's okay. You know, you pick the huge one because oh. everything's bigger in Texas. Mm, that one was sour. I usually don't even make faces. <sighs> that was good. That was a lot. So what's my third day? It's some damn you know. <sighs> okay. Okay, can I say my sister? So cause yeah. this is off the top of my head. She goes, let me know. Actually, let me say <laughs> <laughs> So, cause I know she in the gym already. Every day. And every day in the morning, this bitch wake up at 4 Okay, and I will say, if you say something that I'm already doing, we'll enhance it. Yeah. That's the, yeah, that's the thing. But I know you're not doing it because, yeah, I just know. So, I want you to run on a treadmill. Run? Yeah, run a walk oh. for, for 30 minutes every workout. Well, but, basically, I'm almost there already. For four days, I do cardio. And for the other days, I don't do anything. What are you doing for cardio? Dance for two days, and then when I do weight training, I do 30 minutes on the treadmill. No, you gotta get on. You gotta get on the treadmill. Yeah, but cardio is dance. Mm -mm. So rowing. Um, mm -mm. Yeah, but if I overdo it, then I won't keep doing it. That's the thing. So like, okay, so I'll, so I'll make, make it less than I'll make it. I do 40, 45 minutes of dancing, which is straight cardio, mm -hmm. high intense cardio. So like, that's another thing you have to realize. Like, low intense is walking on a treadmill, and then, but you're able to switch it up as long as you're moving your body for thirty minutes. That's cardio mm -hmm. of just like treadmill, whatever elliptical, whatever. But that's cardio. So technically, I could add the other two days in and then have that completed but what if i do 30 minutes in the morning because i do 15 minutes of a warm-up yeah you know so it's she just too many numbers honestly you've been no so years. technically i do 15 minutes after i work out in the morning because i do morning strength training okay so then i go back to the gym the and i do monday and tuesday of cardio you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I already do a warm up, and then on top of that, I'm doing 45 minutes later. Okay, so just add five minutes to what you're doing now, and then a week after, just add additional five more minutes. Okay. So basically, an hour and an hour and five minutes of cardio a day. A day? Well, because if you say for the 45 minutes. I already do 15, and right. then keep so adding do 5, and then add another 5. Right, so then week. next week, so next week you'll do... That's an hour and 5 Do minutes. 10 more minutes. That's what I'm saying. That's a, Oh, but that, wouldn't that be for a month then? Because it's like adding... Well, that's only week. Monday and Tuesday. So technically, Tuesday... No, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I could add... For 30 minutes but monday and tuesday i already have 45 minute plus well 15. just do five then just do five and then every week after that just add an additional five. how about for the three days i do 30 <laughs> minutes okay yeah we could do that because i don't want to mix it up with the the car the with dance the, you already doing. then i wouldn't go and i love to dance and that's cardio so for three days no matter what every week i'll do your 30 minute of cardio not including those two days of dance class okay and then for the personal goal, because I went, I went for the two one. I did gym and personal. For your personal goal, I want you to stop, stop not letting people do stuff for you. So like, okay, if I, if I was to be like Crystal, let me buy, let me buy lunch today. Crystal be like, oh no, I can, I can, I can give you some money. I can give you, I can give you half. Like, don't no, let you. Yeah, but I want you to stop doing it all in general. Like, she does it with the boyfriend, too. Like, I want you to just let people do shit for you. Because you got a hard time with doing it. Okay. Like, she, she'll literally be like, no, I'm going to send you the money back. Bitch, no. I said, I'm going to do this. So, let me fucking do it. Okay? I don't give a fuck. How much money you have in your account? Let me fucking do it. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> so. Okay. Now. I did. Go, say. Mommy. What? Let me jump. No, DJ, go. Go sit in the room. You gotta cut this out. You gotta cut the part out. DJ, ain't no cupcakes here. Go sit in the room. I'm gonna get you something to eat. Okay. Okay. 
So remember, you're supposed to do five healthy habits too. Wait, we didn't give me Marcos. Oh, so we're so we're splitting them. Yeah. Okay. We could, you could do the good. So the her challenge habits. for the next thirty days are no candy. Oh my god! She eats too much candy. Cut it. No more candy. You could still have sweets, but no candy. What is sweet? You know, like a cookie. You know, I don't want that shit. I don't exactly. eat that shit. No candy. None. Cut it. You could have one day out of the week where you have candy. Well, is sweets considered chips? Well, I don't even really eat chips. That shit be good. You could have chips, but yeah. No. And, no, I don't really fuck with chips like that no more. Well, I mean, th th then don't. But just no candy. Stop eating all the candy. That's it. Also, that's one. Oh, wait. <laughs> A personal thing, not including the candy, is to go on at least two dates with someone you don't know now for the month. So, two dates a month. Two dates with someone you do not know right now. Okay. Okay, I could do that. Okay. You that could she could come back and say Aww, she didn't do it. She want me to find love. I just want her to have more of an open mind and stop being in this. You know, like, oh, well, they don't want me. They don't like, no, you need to find someone, get out there, and find someone else out of what you know and who you know and what you're used to, be uncomfortable and go, even if it's a horrible date, come back and tell us how horrible it was. <laughs> like, just be like, okay, I found out I'm not attracted to these people. Like, you know, whatever it is, just go on two dates that you would have never done before. Okay. And her gym challenge is separate from everything so in the next 30 days you need to go to the gym three days a week and you need to focus on weight training when you go so that means if you want to do one day of arms one day of legs and one day full body however you want to do it just focus on the weight training and 25 minutes of cardio in those three days okay i could do that that's yeah. fine Okay, so it's the two days that I'm. Sorry. We're gonna have uh, notes going where you check off every week what you have done, and we will come back every week and tell you which part of these goals. I will share it right now with her so that she knows. You have to check in, bitch. I need to see the date and timestamp of when you went. You said in his name. You know, like and his phone number. All of the above. Um, <laughs> so. How do you feel you're gonna go with these these challenges? I could do the gym ones hundred percent, no problem. It's the dates. This kind of scare me. Well, let's see. Um, should we give each other like a little prize if we achieve at least two of these goals? What would be the prize? Like or a spot challenge? I, I need a spot Ooh, day. Yes, yeah, so let's go do our feet. A massage. Ooh. I've got even a 30 minute massage. Mm -hmm. It's only $60 in the time. I'm, tic I'm, I'm ticklish, you know, I don't need nothing too long. Okay. <laughs> so if we complete at least two challenges from our 30 day challenge, you will see who is at the spa and we will record being at the spa. Yeah, yeah. And bitch, just because of that, I will make sure I will complete <laughs> all of my goals. What was my goal? So uh, the cardio yeah, and... Yeah, you gotta do 30 minutes oh, of cardio. So that was actually a little more easier. I don't really have to do anything well. <laughs> Just say Damn, if I would have knew what, what was on the table, and, I would have uh, made a whole lot harder. <laughs> um, okay. So our second part. Stop trying to be reading already. I'm literally about to tell you them. So... <laughs> so... <laughs> We're going to talk about five healthy habits that I think Philly should do, and she's going to do five healthy habits, and this is not this is not a challenge, this is just a habit that I think she should think about, um, and she might be doing these things already, yeah. so technically, it's just me, us talking about them, and maybe you guys don't do it, so think about them. So the five I did was... One is making your bed every morning. Um, Ooh, a high thing, yeah, a high thing that I learned 
um, about people feeling good in their space and feeling like, you know, if you're overwhelmed at work, if you're stressed out with like daily life, whatever it is, coming home to a clean room and having that sanctuary of like where you could calm down and have that peace, you want to make sure your bed's already ready for that because you don't want to come back and have to deal with it when you're already stressed out. So first thing you do when you wake up, make your bed. Don't even move. Do it while you're laying in bed. Try to fake, fucking make it as much as you can. That's the first healthy habit to kind of release your brain and, like, have it. Um, second is moving your body at least 45 minutes to an hour a day helps your endorphins come out of your body. And it's really good. Like, even if you want to be super lazy that day, go to the gym super early in the morning. And for the rest of the day, you could just lay in bed and do whatever you want. Okay. So just keep moving. Track spending and what you're eating um, is the third one. We already talked about why it's good to track your spending and it's really good to track your eating because sometimes you don't know what you're putting in your body. Um, so it's healthy and this is just, you know, you could use uh, my fitness pal. You don't have to pay for it. Just track. You put in a bagel, it tells you which kind of bagel you put in. You say, I ate two eggs, you put it all in. And then you also see how much you, like, you put your body weight in, your body mass. You put it all in. It tells you that you are ready, like, if you don't do anything for that day, you are burning 1,300 calories. That's, okay, so they'll give you, like, 2,000 calories for the day. And if you're also, on top of that, moving for 45 minutes, you actually have, like, 2,500 calories yeah. or whatever it is. Like, this could be, you know, different per person. But you just want to track it to kind of get into your mindset of, like, how much am I eating? Oh, I ate three bags of chips this morning because I was super hungry. You could have ate two eggs and, like, something with protein or something yeah. to help you and your body be, like, not feel tired or, like, be able to sleep a full night without waking up. Like, all of these things go into, like, feeling better and having a good night's rest. Um, stretching every day, that's the fourth one. Uh, stretching helps you so much with posture and just feeling good and not having like something bother you. Yeah. Uh, and the fifth one is having some kind of skincare routine. Ooh, that, that was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. If it's like just washing, have whatever you do. You know, it's always good just to keep your skin hydrated and. Overall, the long run, it's just good for you. So those are my five healthy habits if you want to take them down. Five healthy habits. And it's funny that she talked about it already, but it's having a morning and skin routine. Because like what I found for my personal experience is that getting up in the morning and washing my face and like putting on my moisturizer and like my eye cream, like it makes me feel better internally. Like when I take pictures and when I look at myself in the morning like I see the results I see the glow like it just makes like, me look feel at better us. yeah you know like it just makes you feel better and then also the gym when I was in the gym it made me feel a lot better like when I got home like I wasn't doing nothing like negative like I would just in my head I already know okay when I get home cook for me and my son clean up do whatever I gotta do Cool, go to sleep. Because by the time I'm done with everything in the house, it's time to go to sleep. Yeah. So it's like everything was routine. So it just like, it helped I felt good. Day, yeah. Because yeah. when you have like standing space in your life, that's when you do like the shit that's like not good for you. Yeah. Because like now you're trying to figure out, okay, what can I get into? And yeah, whatever. like you get bored. And yeah. Like, it's like, ooh, let me like fuck some shit up. Well, <laughs> even like she said, when I'm bored, I make spontaneous purchases. And it's just like, bitch, should you... Had I would have been doing this, I wouldn't even had time to even think about buying who off the bam. So it was just like that was something that I found that was really good for me. Just having a routine in general, skin, gym, just have something, something. I know, I gotta work on that, but <laughs> but girl time, I can't say girl time has helped me spiritually, positively. Like I, when I um, me and Crystal really locked in was like after our, my breakup and like. Oh, yeah, she stayed with us for a little while. Yeah, I had to stay with them for a minute. But honestly, before I started hanging out with Crystal, like, when we before we locked in, I really didn't feel good about myself. Like, mm -hmm. when she, oh, like, when she, like, cuffed me in during that time and, like, always had stuff to do. Like, we always went out. We always had something to do at her house. Like, she wanted to hang out. Like, that girl time 
really is needed because she even not she didn't even really know that helped build my confidence and my self esteem because like during those situations like I would feel really low about myself and like even with the money part like she, this bitch got me like sometimes where I won't have it like I'll I'll be vocal with her like she said you gotta be vocal with your friend you gotta have somebody you could talk about like financial problems with because there'll be sometimes where I didn't have it and sometimes she did want me to go out with her she'll be like bitch I got it and whatever yeah I just but, want you there bitch. yeah and like I needed that because like at the end of the day like this is my friend who really wants to have my time like yeah. this ain't nothing that got to do with like what I could bring to her like or what what I have for myself like this is just genuine time and she don't really know like I really <laughs> value my friendship because she helped me. Like, she really helped me. You did, like, too, with me, too. Like, yeah. I want to know that this is a two-way fucking street bitch yeah. of, like, you know, being here, like, you're, we're family at this point. So yeah. It's just, yeah, bitch, I'm going to start crying. I know. Today. I'm like, we, we lit. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy because she just don't know how much I value our friendship. For sure. Yeah, no, we're, we're forever friends, and yeah. she'll probably speak at my wedding so we could all cry. <laughs> she gonna be like, I've been waiting for this since day one. I'm trying to a real one. <laughs> nah, but for real, like, girl time is important. And that's when I learned, like, you gotta have time for your girls. I don't give a fuck what it is, if it's work, your <laughs> money. Really? What the? No, I told you she's always looking crazy. No, because you just don't know. You just don't know. Even retail therapy, that was another thing for me, too. Like, just... <laughs> Shit, just doing shit that you want to do for yourself. Like, you know, whatever it is in meditation. Because, like, I got um some shit that I downloaded on my phone. It's called Manifest, y'all. Y'all download it. Um, but basically, it gave me eight minute like, uh, positive affirmations a day. Like, it gave me, like, two in the morning, two at night, and then, like, a few throughout the day. And it's just, like, it helped me. Like, like that one day we was driving to work, it told us to give us three things that we positive for. Like, on the spot. Like, if you wouldn't even don't think, think about, about it. it. Yeah, don't even think about it. What is three things that you that you positive for, that you're grateful for in your life? And it just, that, that shit helped me. So, like, yeah. Yeah. And you know what's great when we go to the gym and stuff? Yeah. You can meditate in the fucking steam room. Bitch. Oh, <laughs> the steam room is my sanctuary. I will spend the amount of time in there as much as I need, and I won't care about how long I have to get ready or anything. It's like you go in there and you just like you have no music, nobody's talking. Like it's full like relax yeah. you just lay in there and you, you sit there yeah. and like you can either think about nothing or you can think about what you need to think about and kind of like go through your schedule for the day or whatever you're just laying there and like it feels good i think that's when my endorphins really come out it's mm -hmm. like when i go to the steam room like that's when i'm feeling the highest you know like oh yeah and the glow really be glowing oh, after the glow the steam room. Glow. Glow. So if i can stay in the steam room for an hour, I would, but girls. health-wise, health they say only, only 15 We both minutes. have, we're both eczema girlies, <laughs> and, like, I struggled up until I was maybe 20-something, 20 21 or something, yeah. uh, with really bad, like, eczema on my arms and, like, you know, bad ratches. It was just, like, it looked like I burned myself everywhere because, like, I would yeah. itch them till they bleed. Like, yeah. it was just so bad. Um, and the steam room, 10 out of 10, if you got eczema, bitch, you get your ass in that steam room. Can you see? Oh. No. I don't oh. see shit. I don't no. see shit with clear skin. Oh, nothing. Clear skin. Nothing. It's nothing. a glow. Uh, it's yeah. a glow. Like, girls, I used to have, you know, where you have, like, that dark spot right here? I used to have rashes. Look at me. They it's gone. insane. They like, gone. Do what you invest in a gym, invest in whatever you need to, learn how to use your money wisely. Yeah. Stop drinking and going out all the time. You still do that if that's the if way that's that you eat yeah. people, that's the way that you exert yourself, that's fine. But if you're not putting yourself in a gym that has amenities that you're using, or if your apartment doesn't have it, or whatever it is, like figure out how you can do it and it helps you just so much in your life yeah. and like it really changes because like before i used to go to planet fitness and it was great i used to do um it, it did help my eczema too um when i would do self tanning for five minutes i didn't put anything on but i would go in there and the radiation or whatever it was helped me 
but it wasn't the best. Um, and so obviously I pay a little bit more for my gym now and it's changed my life in the last year and a half and I recommend it for anybody. And yeah. sometimes I'm not showing the goals that I initially went in there for, but lifestyle wise and health wise, I'm healthy as a cucumber yeah. bitch, you know, like <laughs> I feel beautiful. I mean, it's not going to be like the body goals that I initially went in there for, yeah. but like, but that takes time. It takes time and it happens and you have to figure out more. And sometimes you have to do more blood work and whatever to figure out really what's going on with you. And that's fine. But right now I feel great. Mm -hmm. And I think your money should go towards something like that. Yeah. Wow. That was so beautiful. We had a beautiful yeah. episode. Yeah, I hope you guys took a lot from this, and I hope it wasn't overwhelming yeah. or didn't make you feel like, oh, I need to be there. Let me start for like later on. These things are you're able to start now. Start your goals. Um, track your spending. Track your eating. Do whatever it takes. The the small things that you do now, none of this costs money. You know, if you can't do the 10% now because you're that much in, like, a pickle, that's fine. And make is make cool. your expense report. Yeah. See what's going on. Track your spending. And don't do the 10% until you feel like you and can. And make a sacrifice, too. Yeah, yeah. See where you can, you know, like, I know it's a luxury now and, like, something that you actually, that makes you feel good in the week. But maybe if you hold it off for, like, a couple of weeks... That, like, you could have, yeah. like, a little bit more of a savings and then start it up again. Yeah. But just don't feel overwhelmed. Um, take it all in very slowly. Take a look at what you owe. Don't hide from your debt and just kind of visually put it on paper. Know it's there. Take a break and then come back to it, whatever it takes. Yeah. Um, just know that there's so many other people like us and there's so many people like you and it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. And this is always the lowest everyone's gonna be if you have that mindset. If you have the mindset of like, let me start later, let me get another job, let me do this, let me overexert myself. None of those things will help you until you take the right steps to changing your mindset of seeing where you're gonna be in the next couple of years. Yep. So we love you guys and I know this is a lot to take in. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you're gonna be somewhere you're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Period. Bye, y'all. Okay, love you guys.